The Littlest Explorer, A Kitten's Tale. Once upon a time in a quaint little village nestled between rolling hills and lush meadows, there lived a group of children who had a special bond with the animals. These kids were known for their kindness, curiosity, and love for the furry creatures that roamed the area. Among them, there was a particularly curious young boy named Tommy and a mischievous kitten named Whiskers. Tommy was known for his adventurous spirit. He spent most of his days exploring the fields, meadows, and woods, always with his loyal companion Whiskers at his side. Whiskers was a small, fluffy kitten, with the most enchanting green eyes and a penchant for getting into all sorts of playful trouble. The bond between Tommy and Whiskers was unbreakable, and they made the perfect team when it came to exploring the wonders of their village. One sunny morning, as the birds chirped and the wildflowers danced in the gentle breeze, Tommy and Whiskers decided to embark on their most exciting adventure yet. They had heard whispers of a hidden, magical forest deep within the woods. This forest was said to be home to rare and exotic creatures, and those who ventured there were rewarded with the most enchanting sights and the sweetest melodies. With their backpack filled with sandwiches, water, and a small notebook for Tommy to document their discoveries, the duo set off. The woods were dense and filled with tall trees that filtered the sunlight into a warm, dappled pattern on the forest floor. The air was filled with the sweet scent of pine and the soothing sound of rustling leaves. Tommy and Whiskers followed a winding path, which eventually led them to a babbling brook. They hopped across the stones and followed the sound of trickling water deeper into the forest. The closer they got, the louder the sound became. Finally, they emerged into a clearing where the brook widened into a small, crystal clear pond. Tommy and Whiskers marveled at the pond. It was surrounded by colorful wildflowers, and its waters were teeming with vibrant fish. But the most breathtaking sight was a family of swans gliding gracefully on the pond. Their pristine white feathers shimmered in the dappled sunlight, and their beauty took Tommy's breath away. As they watched, Tommy noticed a mother swan leading her fluffy, gray cygnets to the water. They were the tiniest, fluffiest, and most adorable creatures he had ever seen. Tommy couldn't help but think of Whiskers back home, who was equally small and fluffy. Whiskers, Tommy whispered, look at those cute little cygnets. They remind me of you when you were just a kitten. Whiskers tilted his head and purred, as if he understood the comparison. Tommy decided to approach the swan family slowly, hoping to capture a photo of them for his notebook. However, as he took a step forward, the mother swan let out a warning hiss, flapping her wings protectively over her babies. Tommy immediately stepped back, realizing that he had invaded their personal space. He admired the swans from a distance, but he couldn't help but feel a little sad that he couldn't get closer. He understood that nature's creatures deserved their space and respect. The duo continued their exploration, venturing deeper into the forest, where they discovered more enchanting sights. They found a grove of bioluminescent mushrooms that glowed like tiny lanterns, and a meadow where fireflies created a dazzling light show as evening fell. As they explored, Tommy and Whiskers also encountered other woodland animals, like a friendly fox and a wise old owl. Each animal had its own unique charm and wisdom to share. Tommy realized that the forest was a world filled with diversity, each creature playing its part in the delicate balance of nature. As the day waned and the sun dipped below the horizon, Tommy and Whiskers decided it was time to head home. They retraced their steps, once again passing the swan pond. This time, the swan family was peacefully resting on the shore. Tommy couldn't help but smile at the serene scene. He had learned so much about nature and its wonders during their adventure. He also realized that sometimes, you need to appreciate animals from a respectful distance, giving them the space and freedom they deserve. It was a lesson in empathy and understanding, and it made him love the natural world even more. Tommy and Whiskers made their way back to the village, their hearts filled with the magic of the forest and the love of the animals they had encountered. As they reached home, Tommy carefully placed his notebook on the table and turned to Whiskers. Whiskers, he said, today we learned that the world is a diverse and beautiful place, and every creature has its own role to play. We also learned that we must respect their space and appreciate them from a distance. That's what makes our connection with them so special. Whiskers responded with a contented purr, and Tommy couldn't have been happier. They had not only discovered the enchanting forest but also gained a deeper appreciation for the natural world and the importance of respect and empathy. And so, Tommy and Whiskers continued their adventures in the village, always eager to explore and learn, 
but with a newfound understanding of the delicate balance of nature and the need for respect and kindness. Their bond grew stronger, and they shared their knowledge and wisdom with their friends, inspiring others to cherish the natural world and its creatures. The moral of the story is that the world is a diverse and beautiful place, and every creature, big or small, plays a unique role in it. We must always respect the space and freedom of all living beings and appreciate them from a distance. It is through empathy, understanding, and kindness that we can truly connect with the wonders of the natural world, just as Tommy and Whiskers did in their enchanting adventure.